Welcome to my channel. AT&T BGW320 Wi-Fi Gateway Setting up the AT&T BGW320 Wi-Fi Gateway involves a series of steps. Keep in mind that the specific steps might vary slightly based on your AT&T service and any recent updates to the device's firmware. Here's a general guide to help you get started. Note, before you begin, make sure you have the necessary information, such as your AT&T account credentials and Wi-Fi network name, SSID, and password. 1. Connect hardware. Connect the power adapter to the BGW320 and plug it into a power outlet. Connect one end of the Ethernet cable to the broadband port on the BGW320 and the other end to your AT&T wall outlet. 2. Wait for initialization. Allow some time for the BGW320 to initialize and establish a connection. This may take a few minutes. 3. Connect to the BGW320. Use an Ethernet cable to connect a computer or laptop to one of the available LAN ports on the BGW320. 4. Access the gateway settings. Open a web browser and enter the default gateway IP address in the address bar. The default IP address is usually 192.168.1.254. Press Enter. 5. Login. You'll be prompted to enter the login credentials. The default username is usually admin, and the default password is often password. Check your AT&T account for the correct login details. 6. Navigate to wireless settings. Once logged in, navigate to the wireless settings section. This may be labeled as Wi-Fi, wireless, or something similar. 7. Configure Wi-Fi settings. Set your Wi-Fi network name, SSID, and password. You can choose between different security options like WPA2, PSK, AES, and it's recommended to use a strong password for security. 8. Save changes. After making changes, save your settings. The BGW320 may take a moment to apply the new configurations. 9. Disconnect Ethernet cable. Once your Wi-Fi settings are configured and saved, disconnect the Ethernet cable from your computer or laptop. 10. Connect devices. Use the newly configured Wi-Fi network name and password to connect your devices to the BGW320. 11. Additional settings. Optional. Explore other settings in the gateway interface, such as port forwarding, firewall settings, and device management, if needed. If you encounter any issues or have specific questions, it's recommended to contact our technical experts for assistance.